All right, well, uh, I don't know where I last left off filming, but uh, yesterday I pretty much just wanted to jam a bunch of workouts and not worry about filming, which creates a more productive day. So why don't I grab the camera, flip it around, and we'll go take a look at the bike. All right, so front end is all done. The brakes have been serviced. Wheel bearings pulled, clean, re-greased, everything. Uh, the pivot of your brake cam here, no one ever does that. You gotta take this all apart and clean it. You'd be surprised how much friction will build up in there. Uh, cables all fucking cleaned out and re-greased and ready to go. Fork seals replaced, all new fluid. Fork tubes are looking handsome as ever. The freshly repainted fender is on there looking great. All new mounting hardware. The horn has gone through, that works, making sure everything's uh, gone through on all the electronics. Uh, the, the tack cable or the speedo cable was pulled apart, cleaned and re-greased. Look how clean these gauges look. They cleaned right up. I had to do, I mean, it's not like you're just taking Windex to it. There's tricks to everything. Uh, went through all the hand controls and uh, go through and clean all you had. You'd be amazed how much crap and corrosion builds up in there. You have to take them all apart. I take apart all the little switches, get in there, clean it up. Same with the ignition switch. The head, the bearings there have been cleaned, re-greased, re, -greased, re you name it, everything went through all the electronics. The engine, uh, tore apart the engine. Vapor blasted the head and cylinder, cleaned that all up, tossed some new paint on there, scuffed up the fins. Look how great that looks. Got my little greasy fingerprints on there. Gotta go wipe those off. Vapor blasted the covers, uh, replaced both crank seals. What else? The, I mean, the cylinder looks so good. I showed you guys that earlier. Sprocket. Look at that. Great, great condition. Uh, the clutch, went through, pulled apart the clutch. Uh, you got to do that on the bikes that have been sitting because they're sticky. This one was sticky as well. Went through, serviced the clutch and everything like that. Uh, also replaced the, the crank seal on this. Just got done rebuilding the carburetor. Went through checking the and adjusting the oil pump. Service all the cables. You use a, a cable cleaner and then I put through carburetor cleaner, shoot all the crap out and then, then lube after that. Those are all adjusted. Got the grips on, just setting the bike off. Look how clean all this is. Ran the blinker assemblies through the vapor plaster, got those all cleaned up. Just, so, what's next? And then, right now, I'm gonna tear apart the bike from the shocks down and the swing arm back. Uh, go through and service all of this. I got a fatty new tire for it. Same tread, same everything. This one just looks dinky. Uh, even though it's the factory size, I just don't like a dinky tire in the rear. So I uh, don't go through and service all that. It's hot as fuck, but gotta push through. Gotta get this bike done so I can go race this beauty. Damn, look at that sexy thing, huh? All right, time to get at it. Well, that didn't take long. Got everything taken apart. Everything looks great. I just have to take it further apart. I'm gonna go through, clean up the swing arm, get all this grime off of there, then service the pivot. Um, I will put the wheel in the vapor blaster. Once I get the hub disassembled, that will go in the vapor blaster. Vapor blaster, vapor, vapor, vapor and I will probably run this through there as well, just to kind of smooth it out, then uh, put some paint on that. But everything's looking pretty good. Not, I mean, shit, man. Bike is doing great. Okay, so I'm just gonna hammer down with all this stuff, and here's the new one. So, gotta clean it up, but it's, uh, it'll look great. All right, folks, 
So I can't remember the last time I filmed or what I was doing. I just wanted to hammer down and work. You have to understand in this teeny tiny shop here, it's an oven. And all I've been doing is working and it's just like filming is like one of the last things. And plus I'll be honest with all you guys. I don't do the work. I just make it look like I do the work. I don't know how to do this stuff. I have child labor come in. I have a bunch of small children and I, they just do it. I kick back, yell at them and drink beer. It's great. I don't do the work. Um, so the bike is like 95% done. I got to put some fluids in it and uh, start it up, test tune type thing. Um, I don't know if, so the bike's all like essentially done, but I don't know if I like how the exhaust shield is uh, black. That's how it came from the factory. This is just blah right here. See how that's just blah? Um, so I might take the heat shield off and paint it yellow. Uh, maybe gray, I'm joking about the yellow. Maybe like the aluminum color to match the bike but that might be too much. What I'm gonna do is take a picture with it and fuck around on probably just Microsoft Paint just right there on the computer. Uh, I might highlight some stuff with the loom. I don't know, I'm gonna play with it, but yes, I know this is how it was from factory, but it's just so blah right here. It's too much black. It needs to be broken up. So I'm gonna do something there, but all right, uh, let's spin the old camera around and go take a look at this thing. There we go. Pretty, huh? Stunning. Here's a brand new 1975 Kawasaki. I mean, there's only 4,000 miles on it and I went through everything. So essentially now there's like 2,000 miles on it. But look at this. Just perfect. I Look how perfect these wheels are. Put those through the vapor blaster, the hub. I mean, come on. Just fucking perfect. Did the bearings, all the service, the forks, seals, fluid, all that stuff. Went through the wiring harness. All the cables were all serviced, cleaned out, blew out, re-greased, you name it. Greased the uh, the gauges. You can get, you know, stick a straw up there from the ass in and get up in there. Same with the ignition switch. Tore apart all of uh, the switches, everything, tank all new fresh clear coat on it looking great and you see how clean <laughs> look how clean that is inside it cleaned right the fuck up Little focus there we go look at that perfect so there's that brand new seat cover on there just absolutely perfect heat pressed, all factory matching. Went through, repainted the pipe, heat shield, vapor blasted the covers, vapor blasted the cylinder. And uh, I think I filmed that already. Like I said, I can't remember. Um, when I go in these work modes, I kind of just zone everything out and just concentrate on work. So, fuck, guys, come on. What do you think? See, it's hot here to turn off the fan so I can so you can hear me talk once I uh, done filming a, a huge squirrel fan goes back right back on um, yeah went through service the brake cable brakes you, I, uh, there's nothing that I didn't touch on here uh, all the the crank passed all tests like in measurements you know all that everything's good pistons good cylinders fantastic pretty sure I showed you guys all that new clear coat on here look at this original paint just uh sanded down with uh 800 and then clear coated on it oh fucking nice huh so yeah new petcock i gotta run a fuel line uh i just put this cover on here right now i uh, the carburetor is under here so uh, i'm not going to attach this until i have it all test tuned wrote you know all that good stuff but fuck man <laughs> brand new bike look at this ah. okay uh, I'm gonna put some fluids in and I'll film again when I uh, go to start it ah fuck 
I gotta charge the battery. I shouldn't take too long. Okay, I gotta get on that right now. 